So, uh, yeah, hey guys, and welcome back to X-Plane 11. So, today I'm flying to Biarritz, and you can tell by the fact this is the premiere that I'll be flying in the real world. So, in short, if you were to touch my flight number, FR372 into Flight Road 24, then, um, yeah, you get a chance to kind of track my flights in the real world, and join me as I travel in and around Europe. So, it should be quite a fun one today, flight time's two hours, weather's looking pretty good as well. And the fact that I'm recording this on a Wednesday, ready for the flight on Friday, means that this is actually quite a, a recent video as well. So, not too out of date. I think this should be a pretty good one. So, currently at sunset, we depart at 20 past 7. So, it's home right now if we bring all the parents of the aircraft. Battery and match the exit lights. And yes, it's 7 o'clock on the dot. We have 20 minutes to set the aircraft up and get ourselves ready to go. Currently on Unicom, although I know that there are people active right now. <coughs> yeah, stands to the ground, 121.725, and also have Tower World, and also this is the first, which is 127.17. So if we go to 127.17 first. Stand stead information tango. Oh great. 600 Zulu weather. Wind 200 at 12. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 3500 scattered. Temperature 12. Dew point minus 15. Altimeter 2941. Arriving runway 22. Departing runway 22. Same across both. On initial contact you have tango. This tells me tango. Okay, November, that's fine. Standstead information tango. 600 Zulu weather. Wind 200 at 12. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 3500 scattered. Temperature 12. Dew point minus 15. Altimeter 2941. Arriving runway 22. Right. Departing uh, runway 22. Yeah, that's. Go to Sensor Tower, 123.8. And after that, we'll be able to uh, leave that behind. So, 1238. 345678. Looking good. Um, right, so show's online. Let's get rid of that. Let's go to the overhead panel. Align the IRSs. And let's set this aircraft up ready to go. So, position initialization. <clears throat> set our current location. Echo Golf Sierra Sierra Sandstead. Gate 5 3 right. Looking good. Right. Uh, hi there. Sensors grounds. This is Ryanair 24 Mike November. Requesting IFR information to Biarritz. We have November. Right now, 2-4-1 in the Sensor Ground, good evening, we'll take a bite, by the Nugbo-1 Romeo Departure, off of Romeo 2-2, Squawk 7-4-1-4. Okay, off the Nugbo-1 Romeo Departure, from Romeo 2-2, Squawking 7-4-1-4, for Romeo 2-4, Mark November. Right, 7-4-1-4. Romeo 2-4, Mark November, we'll be back to Red 4 for the first time. Oops, 7-4-1-4. Switch that on, and on our FMC, let's plug in all the information. Also, it's uh, stand set to Biarritz, Biarritz being Lima Foxtrot France, Bravo Zulu Biarritz. Company, company route we won't do, flying right in there. We've uh, got posh enough for that, although we'll start up the um, flight trackers now. Uh, flight number is FR, <coughs> let's say it's, is it two, sorry, 372, was it? Yeah, 372. Confirm that. Yep. Again, so I should enter flight radar 24. You'll check the flight in the real world. It's a 2 2 departure. We have not yet done our fuel, so we will do that. Uh, set weight and fuel. Basically, these two full. We need 7769. Yep, that'll do, mate. Reserves 1.1. Set the ZFW and the reserves. Oops, sorry, it's reserves 1.1 that causes 673. Cruising at 33,000. Right, so I'll just 330. 
Yeah, Average winds yeah. are 202 at uh, 044. Wind set, execute that, M1 limit, set that. So now go to root, back a page, and plug in our routing floor flights. So starting off with Nugbo. Uh, N U G B O. Then it's M183. Mike one eight three two uh silver <coughs> whoops uh roots back a page silver it's Quebec forty one Hmm, mustn't be invalid because it won't let me put that in. Uh, let's have a look quick. Sorry. Maybe it's an actual uh, waypoint angle. Let me try that there. Nope, okay, right. So we'll skip Quebec 41. Go straight to Cowley. I should already invest in Navigraph or something to keep this data up to date. Oh, what's I saw that wrong, haven't I? Yes, I have. Get rid of the E. <coughs> uh, closest waypoints, as always. Then it's uh, Tango 71 to Vapid. Then it's N859 to Drake. Next page. Uh, Uniform Lima 151. <coughs> From the most overrated singer ever, though we won't go into that. Uh, Sitet. <coughs> then it's uh, Uniform November 859. To Balan. Then it's Uniform Lima 152. To LMG, right machine gun. Uniform November 857. You could potentially go direct from Balan to Vavex if you wanted to. <coughs> Valid, okay, so we'll go straight to Magek. Also invalid apparently. Okay. So if we get my arrivals here, we do we have a mag yeah, we do have a couple of uh, major approaches, so that we can always sort out later. And it's acts runway two two <coughs> on the Nugbo one very made departure as scheduled, or it is filed. That all looks good. How long does it want for the uh, IRS to align? This requires three minutes. Sounds good. So, um, yeah, like I say, I'm in the flight in the real world, so if you check me out on Flight 24, you can follow me on that. If you also check out the um, description, all of that's down below. And if you want a bit more of the uh, actual things I do it out in Biarritz and Bilbao, because don't forget Bilbao and Spain is my final destination, I'll take a bus cross country. <coughs> and um, do also check out my new channel as well, I actually put a plug into that here, called uh, Europe Overload. So basically this is my channel for vlogs in and around Europe, as well as uh, Overload, just a bit outside of it. And um, yeah, very much worth checking out if you want to kind of see uh, what I do when away. It's kind of, uh, again, bring guys with me wherever I go. So you can click on the eye on top right to see that. Likewise, I'll probably be a link in the description for it as well. Right, so that's all ready to go. Uh, three through zero is all set. Um, what's my rotating speed actually? We do need to set my takeoff. So you can go to legs, you can go to takeoff. 10 flaps, center of gravity, 1, 2, 3. So it's 1, 3, 1, rotate. My pet sets are 33,000. Hydraulics on, probe heats on, no heats set. <coughs> APU bleeds, actually, all the bleeds off now because we are not requiring of that just yet. Two minutes of alignment, left your tanks on for the uh, AP, and we turn that on. And everything else looks alright, your damp come down on as well, can it? Yes, it can. 
Next things to do, uh, turn on the flight directors. <coughs> Okay, next thing to do, if I do know my Ryanair flight's alright, it's uh, PA system, welcome on board. Captain always speaks to passengers while we have the final stages of boarding, because after this, the cockpit all needs to be secured, and we need to be fully prepared, ready for our flight. <coughs> So yeah, double check the right hand side, makes it all good. So yeah, set the altimeter. So yeah, altimeter is already set over there. Squawk set, radio set, including our takeoff tower. Uh, just ahead of me, that looks all fine. Less than a well, about a minute to go now until this is ready to go. And since we depart at 20 past, so we've got another 10 minutes left really, but nothing stops us from sticking out a little bit early, I guess. Um, but yeah, everything seems pretty much alright. True, I guess I could set now. Actually, speaking of that, let me quickly pre plan the pushback. <clears throat> that way, as soon as we're ready to go, we can just uh, get the aircraft out straight away. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. Will do. Uh, so, what was I going to do? I was going to set the... I've completely forgotten what I was going to set. Hopefully it wasn't important. Um, no, I think looks fine. And Oh, it's a fault in the IRS. Uh, I wonder why. <coughs> I've done something wrong. Uh, not on the APU power just yet, but that shouldn't cause any problem. Done the wrong battery is fine, ground power is active. Whoops, <coughs> that's all fine. That's all fine. Yeah, everything's pretty much fine. I'm not too sure why the uh, RS forced me there. We'll try that again, shall we? So, overhead panel, flick you both to off. Move both to a line. FMS. Uh, I'll go for Sunset's position then. Yeah, actually, where's my last position then? <coughs> Where did I last find the Zybo? Because that certainly is not London's coordinates, no. Okay, so it makes sense that that failed on me. I just need to now have to wait a couple more minutes. In fact, I think it's nine minutes. Okay, eight minutes until we uh, can actually push back again, so great job, Droya, you have gone and delayed the flights. Now, basically, the way IRS works, similar to a GPS positioning system, but works slightly different, because how GPS works is it pinpoints your position based on three or more satellites, kind of triangulates your location. What IRS does is it positions, positions you from the equator and figures out how far north you are. So you can be at any position on the equator, does not matter, but the further north you are, the longer it takes for the IRS to kind of align itself, because it goes from the centre and then goes up or down, up or down, and then it kind of positions you based on that. Which is why, especially when you get close to the um, north and south poles, the uh, IRS can take like 20 minutes to align, and if you're on the poles exactly, then uh, yeah, the IRS will never align, because it just doesn't know where you are, because your latitude, or sorry, your longitude, will always be different no matter where it sees you but um, the latitude is what matters in this so seven minutes to alignment so I do apologize for that it just means that we'll be on the ground uh, a little bit longer before we start our pushback we've been cleared for everything fortunately and we have pre-planned our pushback so it's just a case of uh, going once we're ready to go uh, go to map actually we've got Stansted go to airport so we've got Stansted airport our current position and Biarritz our destination, the Aris Pays Basque, although <coughs> um, our alternative airport is at Bilbao, meaning that if I can't make it into uh, the Aris for whatever reason, I can make my final destination a little bit quicker if I really wanted to. Anyways, uh, so that's back to takeoff, the information is aligned, in a couple of minutes 
We'll get sort of pushed back and make way to the runway. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have said I should push back now. Because while it would misalign the aircraft slightly, the coordinates will basically be within a... Uh, it's like something within like 50 kilometer radius and therefore we'll be able to track the position regardless if I moved or not. Unlike GPS which requires you to be slightly more static when trying to triangulate your position, usually it's quite a quick process so therefore it will be basically be instant from the moment you turn it on. Um, with latitude and longitude, as long as you're within a certain radius based on your coordinates, then it kind of knows uh, where you are based on that. C for me is 26F, so this will be uh, kind of my view for the flight. Because while 24 is the usually favoured row for wing view takeoff videos and flying videos on YouTube for the plane spotters, I personally find 26 uh, and right there a little bit nicer, especially with the window layout. Therefore, not kind of getting in the way of all the passengers who also maybe want to look out the window as well. 24 gives you a single window. 2.6 gives you two windows, a back one and a forward one. Mm, yeah, no uh, manual control of the door here just yet. But there are obviously a few click spots. That maybe this is something planned in the uh, future of the Zybo. Yeah, it's quite cool to see that, especially with the um, setup. <coughs> right, well, I presume the aircraft's now ready to clear up anyway, so uh, let's grab the ground heading plug-in, and you to the side, and bring the tablet on this side as well. The fuel truck we don't require anymore, which means we'll turn on seatbelt sign, which we have done. Next to go is the forward cargo, we can close that hatch. <coughs> I might just turn on forward service, unless I clicked on that without realising it. Uh, anyways, that's closed now. And then the other two doors will also now close, get rid of the uh, stairs, drive it all the way. And there we go, as the eggs secure themselves, the stairs are now lower, and they'll be able to uh, drive off to the side. <coughs> so it's still on GPU, although I could probably put it onto APU, or if only four minutes to go on the RS to a line, probably uh, not worth risking it, let's just say. Because I'm not too sure how the um, APU gets affected when we do switch from APU to GPU, sorry, from GPU to APU. If the fraction of a second disconnects actually affects that or not. So, yeah, three minutes, not too bad. 17, so, so 0717, which means that our departure time, at the very least, is not going to be uh, late or anything. And then must remember to set the. Uh, Chrono as well. <coughs> reset that. Yeah, must remember to set the clock from engines on to engines off. I do sometimes forget to do that in my flights, although you know, it's something I should realistically be remembering every single time. So, always in the live chat, do ping me a little reminder say, hey, draw you can set the clock. Which will just remind me to uh, set that as required. Anyways, the aircraft, as far as I'm aware, is now ready to go. This is just the uh, my are waiting for right now. And that'll take a matter of seconds. <clears throat> well, by matter of seconds, I mean about 120 seconds in total. So, maybe a little bit more than that. Oh yeah, I've got a stick shaker test. My favourite uh, test has to be this one. I love the glow actually, it produces as well, the um, fire handles. Very nicely done little system this. Maybe you green, maybe you green. Anyhow, um, that'll be ready to go. One minute to go on that. APU will start up and we we'll switch to it. Uh, all bleeds are off, that's fine. 
aircraft is secure. So I don't need to worry about that. All exits are closed. Pushback has been um, pre-planned, so that's also ready for us. In fact, let's bring the uh, tow truck to our position now. <coughs> we're just going to wait for that to tick over to zero, and that means at least we've got within 60 seconds of alignment. Come on, to go to zero, please. Come on, come on. Now, this is first flight of the day. <coughs> there we go. Is that thumb? Perfect. Right, uh, request pushback. <coughs> Bring the tow truck. Ground to cockpit. Tow is driving up. Right in there, 2 4 Mike November is ready for push and start. <coughs> Uh, push and start approved, facing west. Push and start approved, facing west, Ryanair 2-4, Mike November. Sorry, so you're coming to position now, APU's aligned, <coughs> APU generates a set or bleed set, low fuel pumps on, GPU disconnects, uh, disconnects GPU, remove chocks. So we're ready to go, anti-collision and strobes can come on. Wing, wing lights off, fuel well off, logo is off since it's daytime, and tax lights won't start until we push back. All doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. Right, now, okay, right, so there's another aircraft to my right there, obviously on FSX, you just fancy sunk in the ground. <coughs> Uh, one and then there's the aircraft there, there actually. November 700 Mike Sierra, your Cessna. I can tell you that uh, Sands Airport don't usually like general aviation, so I'm not sure how he made it here. <laughs> you know, that Luton Airport is usually quite nice for the uh, G8, especially as I've flown there myself. Well, at least I've flown over it myself. Parking brake release, start pushback. Starting pushback and you may start engines. Engine to start. All looks good. Engine's turning on, so we've done something right. <laughs> yeah, so that has as much hope as I uh, put in myself as a pilot. Engine's working, so obviously I've uh, followed something in their correct order. Thank you very much for remembering. Alright, we'll start the pushback turn in a second, hopefully. That's ticked over, it starts up engine one now. <coughs> there we go. Start. <clears throat> a little hot, that's fine. Good afternoon, Grand Echo. Five Echo, Echo. Five Echo, November, Grand Good evening to you. Taxi November and Juliet. Five two, which came out of five three, so. Bear in mind, he just landed me a bit further away from me. Yeah, that's going to cause any conflict because our taxi is very simple. We go straight line, left, and turn straight in. And then, depending on whether we get uh, what are the holding points here, Operation Romeo complete. or Sierra, up. Parking break. determines which part we depart from. Anyways, that's set. Disconnecting toes, stand by. Flap set to 10. And trim to 343. Three, four, three. That's actually not much trim at all. There we go. Three, four, three. Right, so that's all set, it's all looking good. Disconnects the hand signals. And wait for them to state that uh, you need to watch the hand signals, and when they do, 
people will then uh, announce that we're ready to taxi to Rum White. So is disconnected and okay. bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Ryanair 2 for Mike November is ready to taxi. Ryanair 2 for Mike November, but it takes you to holding from Sierra 1 via <clears throat> Charlie and Sierra. Sierra 1 via Charlie and Sierra for Ryanair 2 for Mike November. Right, off we go. Ryanair 4 for Mike November, hold short and taxi away, Charlie. There you go, so yeah, he didn't hold, to, hold short of the taxi away. Allowing me to squeeze in front of him, which is very nice. Because <laughs> as always, the departing flights usually get a bit more priority at Sunset, or in most cases of uh, every airport. <clears throat> Ryanair 45 Echo November, hold short and taxi away, Charlie. He ain't stopping. He ain't stopping. We're just cut in front of him. Uh, apologies, you're talking to me, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> yes, we're shouting uh, at we're him. Alright, sorry about that. Sorry, we'll be taxiing. I apologise, right now. Four, five, I can remember. No worries, no, love you too. Right, <laughs> right, we need to go to Sierra, which is second mine to it. Uh, no, Sierra, it's this one. <clears throat> Make sure I on taxi lights as well. Now, this is what I love about that sim. Because it's not quite as professional as real life, you can always get a, a little bit of humour in the... And of course, it's the company jets, the Ryan there. That just kind of speeds through. Mike to November. Contact Sunset Tower on 123.8. Have a good flight, sir. 1238 for Ryan Air 24, Mike November. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Right, let's hold short. <clears throat> so the parking brake. Tune to Tower. Uh, hi there, Stanza Tower. This is Ryanair 24 Mike November, holding short of uh, runway 22, ready to depart. <clears throat> Ryanair 24 Mike November, Stanza Tower, evening. Uh, runway 22, clear takeoff, surface wind 190 degrees, 9 knots. Then lights set, tax lights off, clear to takeoff, Ryanair 24 Mike November. Parking brake released. And off we go. Everything looks good. Jet to brake set, flap set, trim is all set. Let's enter the runway and get ourselves ready to go. Uh, packs and bleed is all set. And right there, two four mic coming, but I'm logging off now to once I airborne one or two unicorn one two two that's more eight. Bye-bye. Not a problem. One two eight once airborne. Two four mic November. <clears throat> right, so we'll tune that in after we've departed. Otherwise, all's looking pretty good. I don't think there's any other controls we need to speak to during our flight today. So as soon as we depart, be straight on to Unicom. Right, so let's go. Get a bit of rudder in, just to keep the aircraft stable. Though it's not particularly bad today, the winds. 80 knots. 80 knots. You want rotate positive rate gear up. Let's say don't sink. In fact, I have set our timber correctly. So we ignore that. Flaps up one. Four hundred. Set the L nav and V nav and autopilot sets. So that go to the yoke. Bring that back. Block the landing gear position and flaps up slowly. 
Launch Unit 128 onto this. And we announce it. 1228 for Rhino 24 Mike November. Thank you very much. Tune to that. <coughs> and yeah, there we go. We are now clear. Just bring the flaps up as required. At 205. That's going to go up to their retractor position. Sorry, their intractor position. Retractor them extend. To uh, intract them means to have them up. Right, that all looks good. We are following the uh, sit out. That's the end of the departure. Sometimes the aircraft pushes to the right for making a left turn. I've always found that weird. So in this case, it's that like you're dedicated to do that. In fact, I'll zoom out. If I went straight to Nugboat, <coughs> execute that. And there we go. make things a little bit nicer for my departure, especially in terms of avoiding Heathrow. I've actually Luton. Uh, 30 miles out, so that actually I'd say is more Heathrow's uh, territory. Uh, why is the train line below us? I'm very tough for the train line where we are. That's below. So, okay, that's Bishop Stalford. Which can only mean. Yeah, which can only mean that that over there is Heathrow that we see the traffic for. So very shortly our left turn will guide us over through central England and down south via uh, oh, White I believe actually is overtaking us. Yes, yeah, so Yellow White I believe we're going to leave through, so now you'll get a chance to see. By the time like I say it's about two hours, so that'll be a nice and simple flight. So I see I've been on longer ones, but Two hours, uh, pretty much is an average flight on Ryanair. If I were going direct to Bilbao, this would be more like a two hours and a half. So, the main reason though I went for it, as always, because the flight was cheap. It was a new flight for the uh, summer schedule. Ryanair doing them very cheap, and so uh, yeah, <coughs> always nice to uh, get myself a cheap trip abroad. At some point I'll do a video or something like how I do these uh, holidays so often so cheaply. There's no real secret to it, you just got look in the right places. But uh, it's something I know a few people have asked me before, both in the real world and in um, social, so yeah. There we go, left hand turn, and that takes us straight down south. Double check the uh, flight plan actually. <clears throat> oh no, not even yet. Runway 22 is the southerly heading runway. Check this map on the. Double check this flight on the map. I've never always understood the. Uh, Watch that, Stansted. Yeah, okay, so you actually are heading north slightly before making a left hand turn and coming down south again over Heathrow, so maybe not quite the glorious departure I was thinking of earlier. <coughs> yeah, good chance we get to see some of Heathrow during our departure. This will be on the left hand side though, so we'll be flying over High Wycombe, Princess Rosborough, Slough area, maybe even Cyrus Reading actually. If I show it on the uh, map quickly, make that a bit bigger, whoops, make that a bit bigger. Hmm. 
Uh, so yeah, show you on the desktop there. This is us. Right there, 2 4, March, November. <clears throat> We're heading south. Apparently, it's 17,000 already. Oh gosh, you're at 17,000. Okay. Not paying any attention on that. Pretty quick climb then, I must say. A lot quicker than I'm usually expecting. Anyway, see, so yeah, I'm making the left hand turn now, which got us heading southward. <clears throat> it should be around Portsmouth, the Isle of Wight, where we do exit. So we will, like I say, see Stansted. See, sorry, see Heathrow. From our left hand side. And it's back to the sim. Let's enjoy the uh, rest of our climb out. I now turn off the seatbelt sign, so I'm quite happy that the weather is stable and visibility up here is pretty good. We can actually see the south coast of England already from here. And if I try and spot London, and there we go, there's Heathrow already, so there you go, Norfolk just below us, Heathrow in the centre, and then Gatwick somewhere just in the distance over there. No chance of us seeing that from here, let me tell you for a fact. Although, um, fun fact for North Vault, <coughs> it's actually closed. Uh, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, they closed down the runway to resurface it, and they hope to bring it back by November. November the 11th, they hope to reopen it for the, uh, World War One, sorry, World War Two. Remember its day, so... Sorry, no, 11-11 is World War One. I, I do apologise. <laughs> Basic history, that. But, um, yeah, so they hope to bring it back by then. But most are expecting a few delays. You know, it could be a little bit longer until we uh, see aircraft back at North Alt. But, uh, yeah, it is closed for a couple of months. Only aircraft services right now is helicopters. Because I believe North Alt is also connected to one of the uh, hospitals. I'm not quite sure. The one is that there are definitely some helicopter traffic coming in. But all private jets and all of that, so it usually sees, including the Queen and the Prime Minister, they all have to go down the road to. Uh, it's not. It's past High Wickham, I forgot the name of it, but uh, yeah, it's not quite as far as um, Bryce Norton. It's a bit closer than that. Yeah, it's just past 250, 25,000. That's the airport. Still visible to us actually, just in the distance over there. Luton as always, so I think we should be able to see it quite nicely. I have never ever been able to spot North Luton, not in real life, not in a sim ever. Usually I spotted like, <coughs> even when I come into land at Luton, I only ever spotted like when I'm right off the runway, very last minute. So one day I should work on my uh, Luton spotting skills. Because spotting the international airport is something I should be able to do. Very simply. Let's bring up the map. So updates. Zoom out a few times. Figure out where we are in the UK. Because the map actually is working right now, seeing being a bit stuck. And there, that map is comp oh no. Hmm. Just out from Milton Keynes, coming up towards Oxford, okay. And it's this airport information here. Now we do uh, need to keep updated. What was the last updated? Um, yeah, it's quite recent actually. Yeah, fairly recent that. We'll keep that on the uh, tablet for future reference, including our approach later.
go. So left hand now. And that I'll start our southerly heading. Yes, yeah, so this is going to take me to 180. Yeah, so that 178 is going to now take me down to a heading of. Room 185. Either way, that is the heading that we want to be at. Airborne, we've been in the sky for about. 10 minutes now, 10.55, for an hour and 50 minutes to arrival, but as always that will probably get slowed down a little bit due to the winds. Flying south, the winds are always at a crosswind, coming over the Atlantic, so very rarely does that come to our side. <clears throat> Any time I can really think it ever would do, is if we ever come in for a landing at 0 4, because that, no, I mean the headwind is slowing us down, we need to 2 2 coming in with wind from the south, so. Yeah, winds are never really too good for us heading north and south. Usually heading to the east is a bit quicker than going to the west because the wind's just a lot better for us. And of course, Orbex uh, scenery, always looking pretty fantastic no matter where you are. Orbex is, um... E Orbex, what is it? <clears throat> True Earth, England, south is what we're flying over right now. Really is one of the most stunning add ons I've ever seen for any flight simulator. This is about as realistic as you can get any ground scenery to go, regardless of whatever platform you're using. And even for a distance, flat heath though looks pretty fantastic. Not quite real life, but yeah, it's about as close as you can get. Just reached cruising altitude of 330. We'll be up there for a little while. That's a good So clouds have slowly come in, keep an eye on that. All the turbulence and the wind seem to still be unaffected, so that's not going to cause any problems for us. And unfortunately the uh, nice ground scene you're staring at has just gone and disappeared around us, which is ever so shameful. But uh, anyways, we are soon about to leave the UK. Check the Project to Fly map. About halfway through our crossing, although we're heading directly south now. It was on the left hand coming up shortly as well, so I'm going to take us more inland into France. And I'm also having a look, there is a chance we may actually get a controller in France. Bear in mind that we have got uh, <coughs> Emma Fox Shop, we have got Bordeaux Centre online, which covers the entirety of South France. If I show you that actually quickly on the map, uh, show. Des whoops, not that. Anyway, show desktop. We are here. Sensor disconnected, but Bordeaux. Time online 10 minutes. They're quite recently on, so there's a good chance we do come to Biarritz, which is down south. 
Oh wow, we can actually not be alone there as well. You're going to, uh... Yeah, you're heading south, but I'm actually quite surprised that anybody's even in Biarritz right now, so... That's pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways... Continue to fly as it is. Yeah, so that's some good stuff when we do come in to arrive. Uh, keep an eye on some of the Unicom right now, especially because we right now are crossing over the Heathrow departures and arrivals. Yes, okay, maybe a few thousand feet high than uh, anyone could come across, but always a good idea to keep an eye on who's below you and who's above you, just for the sake of um, safety and knowledge. That will be High Wycombe, I believe. No, there's no train track running near it, so not High Wycombe. <coughs> That could be Maidenhead actually. Aerodrome of uh, East. Sorry, Aerodrome of West London. In. Um, just east of. Sorry, just west of Maidenhead. I don't quite know its um, official name, that one. But yeah, that's the uh, East London. Sorry, West London one.
Alright, so <clears throat> we have now left the UK. It's just behind us, you see our advice as well, just below. That us to our rise of the blood of clouds. And then the uh, French continental mainland is in the of Sheheds. Not a very long hop, this one. Flying over the Netherlands, usually a little bit longer. Now, flight time, estimated time of arrival is in. 51 minutes apparently. I've got no way to say that, no way to say ever that'd be that short the flights. But um, yeah, I've got a little bit longer to go. And then, like I said, if you want to see more of what I do in France and Biarritz, do follow my second uh, channel, Europe Overload, where you can follow all the uh, info on that's what I'm doing. Across my left, as we know, I'll never be able to spot it because Orbit um, X Plane's LOD radius model visualizer is just rubbish. But uh, no, it is what it is, I'm afraid. Alright, so we'll be entering the uh, coast of France over La Havre in a couple of minutes, and then it's just uh, continue south from there. Double check who's online, see if the Bordeaux Centre is still around. Gosh, there's a lot of um, going on in the UK actually right now. Plenty of echo golfs. Uh, yeah, look, 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 Lima, Foxtrot, Bravo, Bravo Centre. There's um, four of them online. Mike, X-Ray and Zulu Centre. With the, uh, I guess, main supervising guy. But yeah, so they'll be around for a little while. Therefore, we do have somebody to talk to during the approach. Which is always good for the... Uh, is in fact so get that for now. <clears throat> I mean we'll get them and yeah, we'll get them bang in central France. Along with the flights continuing to head south. In fact all of Spain has coverage, just Portugal that's missing it. In fact I find that quite funny if I quickly show you. Yeah you got all of France sorry all of Spain, got all of this of France, including where we're landing. Ooh, two aircraft down Biarritz. Is it really the bigger airport than I thought it was? Must be. I'm not the only one going from Stansted to Biarritz, actually. <laughs> Gavlin McLennan. Doing the same flight as me, apparently. Although, uh, yeah, exact same flight down as well. Based on the departure, he's coming in from there. I've gone a little bit more north than him, but still the same thing, basically. Going on there, a few dash eights. Yeah, you can see where the border of Spain and Portugal is. Let's 
to where coverage just kind of uh, disappears in terms of um, that sim controller. But Alright, so flip down now. The coast of France. It's quite well mod that. It's like a, like a cliff edge or something. Yeah, coast of France over the half. We should be entering just now the half being that uh, horse is just ahead of us right there. <coughs> right, up in France. That there was the last time we fired any water. Minus rivers, I guess. <coughs> for the majority of this flight. Okay, so the actual UK behind us as well, to the very uh, south of the coast there. Over in the distance, you know, over to Europe, the ground here is actually pretty well done, the mesh especially. Never had issues with that, so the coloration and all that. Pretty good for what it is again, all the default scenery that's. I'm sure have a couple of mesh mods as well, that can even look a lot better.
so we're approaching about a third of the way into the flight now. Unfortunately, judging uh, north south is a little bit more difficult than east west, just the fact that the globe kind of stretches it all out. And so, while on the map, it's say we're about halfway. I mean, Stance is there, and the Aris is there. That was already six zero halfway. Which is the fact that we are using a globe which is stretched. The uh, longitudes are a little bit more spaced out in the north and the south. So, realistically, that is two thirds. Well, that is a third. Maybe one day the projects will use the new Google Maps uh, globe that they've introduced. But, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Oh, Finn has got an entire tower as well. Tampere radar. There must be a couple of events or something going on this evening because, yeah, for a Wednesday night, it's certainly quite a populated set of towers. Uh, someone on Unicom for Stansteads. <coughs> Didn't use Unicom, guys. Ah, he might have been looking at uh, Tower for Tower. Have they disconnected Stansteads? Stansteads ground, but I know Tower disconnects as soon as we departed. We were the last one for him, so. <coughs> that seems to be uh, a bit behind for that. Weather's still calm. Weather in Biarritz. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, winds 9 knots, 170. Broken clouds at 500. It's cloud base 500. But otherwise, that seems to be the only thing reported there at the moment. It's a 170 wind. Yeah, we uh. Hmm, could be 09027. I will have it a guess. Well, it shouldn't really be a guess, but um. For a 17 wind, it'll be 09, that makes more sense. So I go for an RNAV for that. There we go, Mage 5 Mike or 5 Romeo. Let's have a look at a Mike approach. So if I go to plan. Alright, next page. LMG before you jump to that. Hang on, LMG step. Zoom in. From zero, you to them. Yeah, seems pretty fine. So if we accept that as our approach, but again, I say that the final turn does look fairly tight when coming in. All Scots coming in seems a bit much. We can always do more of a manual, I guess. Uh, with exit approach in, that's always an option I can always go for as well. We'll swing to what that setup means our final waypoints also matching our flight plan. 
going to have that as well. Looks good. Aircraft knows where we are now. Thanks to the MRS by being all that. Flight time. We've got 38 minutes to the arrival. Well, I find that quite odd here. If I show you my display. <coughs> uh, yeah, flight time. 39 minutes, time to arrival 38. Well, the bar at top here, apparently we haven't quite made it halfway yet. Because halfway marks about there. Obviously, some things also up with that. Maybe the winds are a bit more favourable down south, but uh, as it stands, we should be all right for a normal approach. Runway what, zero nine and a half got set. <coughs> approach reference for that will get as well.
So, coming up to the <clears throat> area we need to contact them, they're on 125.1, so we'll have that ready to go on cons 2. Uh, 121. Is it 115? 151, sorry. There we go. That's on the VHF one as well, just for sake of uh, not having dual comms counteract with each other. Pause. Airport. Just not consistent by the river, actually. Uh, I'll see actually where it remains a bit. Try and find that out. Just to see. Can't quite spot my map, but. Uh, Good fight so far. Definitely a steady one. I mean, I remember back in back in February, back in the storm coming in across Europe, that made almost every flight rather impossible to do. I mean, especially with the uh, heavy winds, mass turbulence, and all that, it was not pleasant to fly in at all. So uh, yeah, I do find it nice that the storms have kind of died down a bit that the flights can get in right now. Fairly relaxed, fairly simple. Turn that. And that guides in most of the way there. So we've got Balan in how many minutes? The plane's gone around at Stan. Well, the plane's gone around at Gatwick. That doesn't always happen on that sin. Or plane's actually doing a go around. Yeah, so it's 53 miles to um, Balan. LMG's just past it. Right there at 8.23. Yeah, next we'll make there in about 8 minutes. <clears throat> so we'll make it about 8 minutes. LMG is shortly after that. And it's a right hand turn, which kind of gets us in the rest of the way to uh, our destination. Weather change there, of course, means the aircraft uh, jumps around a bit, both altitude and uh, speed. Well, it's always better to go down with the altitude because it means the aircraft speeds up slightly and cuts just a few extra seconds to flight there. But I'm sure it won't last too long. We have to climb a couple hundred feet as well, slowing us down slightly. this flight I'd probably just be watching a few YouTube videos downloaded from YouTube Red. Is YouTube Red or YouTube, what's it called in Europe? I know YouTube Red is the uh, American name for it. That's uh, yeah, it's well worth a subscription. I mean when we got the Google Home Hub, got a six month three subscription to that so I mean I could download a couple of videos on that locally and yeah it makes it for good watching. I probably have downloaded a couple of Ashen's videos since he's released a couple of longer ones recently. There we go, 125.1. 
and pretty recently maybe a couple of arch or something as well <laughs> download this live stream you never know uh, 151 stream unit across and this is Bordeaux Centre isn't it hi there Bordeaux Centre this is Ryanair 24 Mike November with the outlet level 330 Few more seconds. There we go. Michael November. Good evening. You notified. Maintenance flight level three three zero. Expect runway two seven in Biarritz and Magic seven Bravo arrival. I'll say that again quickly. So two seven. Right, so it's runway 27 at Biarritz, looking for the 7 Bravo approach. Imagine 7 Bravo. Well, we've only got 5 Bravo to accept that as the closest thing. Reset MCP altitude, not just yet, is it? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm actually quite surprised we're going for 27. Super Aviation Lima is passing with Blagnac Tour 118 Dissimal 100 for the atterrissage, monsieur. There's a few French aircraft in here as well, so I presume you can speak to them. Um, right, so how does the approach then look into... Yeah, that's supposed to get to the runway. Zoom in, so it's Magie, Monarchs, Straits. No, that's quite nice actually, the approach there. Yeah, it does mean you also get to plug in the uh, IS information, which will get a little bit closer as well. So keep it at that. Just wait for the aircraft to uh, continue the rest of its flights. Au cap 1-2-0, descendez 3000 pieds, autorisez ILS, piste 14-3, traitez établi. Au cap 1-2-0, je descends 3000 pieds, je vous rappelle, je vais établir sur l'IMS. Bonsoir, NR 120. Direct à ce niveau de vol 125, bonsoir, monsieur. Identifié, maintenez le niveau 260, je vous rappelle. Je maintiens le niveau 260, Ryanair. French based Ryanair aircraft, that, <laughs> what do you know? Um, what Ryanair bases do they have in France? I don't actually know, if I'm totally honest. Uh, let me have a look. I don't know if they have one in Bordeaux or not. <coughs> they don't have one at Paris... Uh, what's the Paris airport name? Paris Bouvet, is it? Yeah, Paris Bouvet. Uh, Ryanair, France, bases. Let's have a look. Que prévoyez une arrivée de 29 kilos pour la piste 23 Non. Tuesday 1 to open. Bordeaux, okay, so it's Bordeaux and Marseille. They have to be able to do this. Ryanair. Ryanair. Prévoyez 
Oui, spectre agent 6, Sierra, Arrival, Runway 1 for Right, Solidaire 1 Trio 2. FR-1003 et à droite au cap 190, descendez 3000 pieds, autorisé ILS-23, rapide à vie. À droite 190, descend 3000 pieds, autorisé ILS-23, et on va établir par dessus de retour. Ryanair 25, euh, procédez directement sur Mirba. Direct Mirba, euh, Ryanair 125. Juliette Papa Alpha, me recevez-vous de Bordeaux Contrôle euh, Bordeaux Contrôle, je vous reçois très bien. Faut que Juliette Papa Alpha. Faut que Juliette Papa, Julie... Papa, Papa Alpha, quelle est votre destination Il n'y a pas de. Vous n'avez pas de plan de vol. Ah, alors c'est une erreur, je vais les transmettre. La destination c'est Toulouse. Voilà, c'est un voyage qui est parti. Faut que vous liez Papa Alpha, vous êtes en VFR ou en IFR En IFR. Faut que vous liez Papa Alpha, vous êtes en village radar, pour une ILS de la piste 14 tournée à droite au cap 320. Je tourne à droite au cap 320. Et Fox Juliette Papa Alpha, vous descendez au niveau 80. Je descends au niveau 80, Fox Juliette Papa Alpha. Contrôle de Fox Trotinas, Alpha établi sur les LS de la 14 droite. Il vient faire Alpha, passer avec euh, <rire> Blagnac Tour, 118 décimales 100, monsieur. Bon atterrissage, merci. Je passe sur Blagnac Tour, euh, merci pour le contrôle, bonsoir. And there we go. That's all about earlier where it would never last and the aircraft would climb. A couple of moments away now from the right hand turn. We shall take a straight into Biarritz. About 20 miles out for that one. We'll be over that in about two minutes. Yeah, 0828.5. So 0926. So 0826 Zulu. Yeah, so about two minutes to make the right hand turn. With that, we go straight into Biarritz. Estimated time of arrival is now sitting at let's have a look uh, t 0850 Zulu, so 0950 Zulu so yeah 24 minutes since our time of arrival 24 minutes and our approach is fairly straight in now so I don't need to question about that one either let's actually plug that into our approach shall we so 30 flaps the usual 140 approach 11135 Ryanair 125 descendez niveau 140 
I'm on one three five. Uh, two six nine, two six nine. Alright, so as soon as we get onto the uh, Biarritz yeah, Tower, oh, at least get next one to Biarritz. We'll then be able to uh, sort out our approach. Shop descent in 80 miles. At least 80 miles will reset our MCP attitude. And descend onto an intercept of uh, 2,500. Although, it depends if um, Tower will guide us in for a descent as well. So we'll wait for that to happen as well. If we actually do set our MCP attitude and descend. Because he might guide us down as well part of his job actually so yeah very likely he will Four six descent level two eight zero. Level two eight zero for four four. Okay, Juliet Papa Alpha, to pursue the descent. Fox Juliet Papa Alpha, descendez 5000 pieds, QNH 1000, unité 00. Zéro. Zéro. Euh, répétez, s'il vous plaît. Fox Juliet Papa Alpha, descendez 5000 pieds, QNH 1000, unité 00. Zéro, zéro, zéro. Je descends 5000 pieds, QNH, pour ce Juliet Papa Alpha. Board of control, solitaire 1302. We have lost uh, one engine, so can I. Uh, Who's lost an engine? Office? Someone lost an engine, that's him. Come on, man. We don't always like them here. Solitaire 1302, the best for the shops is Bordeaux. Yeah, okay, yeah, this controller doesn't seem to mind so much. He's guiding me into Bordeaux now. Mirignac. Yeah, you just get to uh, double check with the controller if you're on an active tower if they're happy to do diversions and engine losses and all that. But uh, I know that quite a lot of controllers, especially in the US, do frown upon that, so... Always be careful when you do go for this kind of thing, and um, that's... Um, yeah, going a little bit of uh, weather change, pushing those down. Now yeah, across 6,000 feet below me, so I won't be able to see them. Though within 10 miles, so obviously visible, visual, visual or vis, visual or visible. I'm trying to say that to my left hand side. If I was on the sex with P3D, but not so. I won't want to explain. <coughs> One day we'll get a proper aircraft out of here during loading lot distance. I wonder if anyone's ever actually kind of uh, mentioned it on the forums or something. The fact that we can't see aircraft until we are literally on top of them, which is again probably a bit more of a hazard when it comes to spotting traffic in the area. I'm pretty sure this has um, AI as well. We're trying to keep an eye out for an aircraft nearby. Uh, out of nowhere, thing comes out of. Uh, Shadows and swipes, side swipes you or something like that. Priority for, uh, 
I was on a bit quiet all of a sudden. Obviously, not much control to do at the moment. You know, it's 40 miles out now. Top of the descent within. within 5, 10 minutes, I say. 10 minutes we're at top of the descent. Left in 300 and then sent uh, 3000 feet uh, connection. So, the yeah, 1302. Austrian 472, good evening, identify, descent flight level 140, expect uh, runway 14 right news, uh, arrival Fréjoc, Sid Cinema. Descent to flight level 140 and we'll expect runway 14 right the original Lima arrival. Austrian Forest Avenue. Approach to Fox Kilo Lima in Sudan. Aircraft to my right, 15 miles, 8,000 below. And good landing. Thank you. Thank you. We are going to be a vertical You go on to our right hand side over here. <coughs> Not sure what town that is though. Have a look. Uh, oh, it's Bordeaux, okay. Yeah, so to our right hand sides, that group of uh, rivers and islands and town over there, that there is the uh, city of Bordeaux. Okay, climbing. <laughs> Fox Juliet, Papa Alpha, tourné à gauche au cap 1, 8, 0, descendez 3000 pieds. Get slow down again. Hope you get one more of these descent ones. Whoops, pardon me. Hope you get one more of these descent ones. Je tourne à gauche. Just for the sake of uh, getting a few more seconds in. Like this altitude, this speed. I'm not going to have too much of an issue with the uh, acceleration, deceleration. When we do get into these kind of uh, situations. 20 miles now, top descent, or 25 miles. Keep an ear out again to the ATC for the uh, instructions to descend. Ryanair 25, pour séparation, faites un 360 par la droite, descendez au niveau 80. Je descends au niveau euh, 420, je fais un 360 par la droite de la Ryanair.
Mambo Control, Solitaire 1302. Can you give me some information about uh, runway news uh, at Bordeaux? And uh, if I can make a visual approach? Real Air 1302, the runway in use is the 2-3. Is that a Ryanair aircraft with um, the engine issues? The radar vectoring for uh, an arrival inside, on the inside. Obviously, sounds run out of fuel. <laughs> Thank you, sir. There's Bolo Airport just to the right inside that. Five zero for Ryanair right two for Mike November. Right, fifteen thousand being the truck to go to. <clears throat> and five miles to go to the top of the scents. That is the uh, perfect chance for us to start out presenting ourselves. So a few seconds so we go down as I was saying uh, yeah Bordeaux Airport just to my right there I've not been to that airport myself personally in the real world or in left sim two, three, zero. Three, zero. Yeah, as I say amazing why I took this trip was just the fact that it was super cheap so, if I go to the Sensor Barrett's flights, go through the uh, itinerary. <coughs> yeah, total cost of return flights with seats reserva reservations made, 33.98. Now, bear in mind in the UK, you get a return train ticket or a return bus fare for that same price, domestic. Can't complain about an international flights, definitely not. Why are we descending? Also, we now started the lips descending as well on the um, tablet here. So we're starting out the sense. <coughs> Switch to V nav. Papa Alpha, passé avec Toulouse, Tour, 118 décimal 100. Bon atterrissage, Aurélien. Yeah, that's the image of descent now. You pass avec la Tour. Don't need to worry about that. In fact, it's doing quite a steep one, I will say. 3,500 feet per minute, 4,000. 4,500. Yeah, it's time to level off now, slightly, so. It's actually a bit of a steep one, although about 80 miles to go to a touchdown. You can kind of see why the aircraft kind of wants to descend as soon as possible. Good evening, identify descent flight level 140. 
My level 140, I think. It's nice. Okay, that's in the area. I'm I guess going to uh well it's just a bit more of a cargo setup available for it. And so while I'm in uh Biarritz, the main thing is I don't actually really know what I'm gonna do out there. I mean mm, I'm in Bilbao, I've got a friend to meet up with. So that'll be a bit of fun. But, uh, yeah, before then not much to uh, redo in Biarritz. I mean, there's a few things we're definitely going to go see. So I've looked at uh, TripAdvisor and a few other blogs, kind of figure out what other people have done out there. But, uh, yeah, you never know. Could be interesting out there, well, certainly will be interesting out there. Some of the uh, roads and the layout does look pretty good, but it's definitely Bill Bow I'm more excited for. Some of the uh, sites that we have on that, bear in mind it is sitting in the middle of the valley itself, so. Tied up on both sides of hills. On your left. A few different viewpoints to uh, enjoy as well. <clears throat> Just back off to my left. And those two seem pretty close to one another. Sorry, there are one two. Turn the left again. Turn 10, to 10 degrees on your left. Report for the way inside. So behind me now, so they don't matter too much. Um, Stop descending though. Should be going down to uh, 1500. See if that kicks it back to life again. Yes, I think it has. Just wants a bit of drag to continue to descend, so that's fine. More on sight uh, for you maintain one piece of Three there, one three zero two, contact the Mirignac Tower, one one eight decimal one zero. Contact the uh, Mirignac Tower, one 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 eight decimal zero. Thank you for your service, sir. Bye bye. Bye bye. One three zero two. Ryanair 25, descendez 3000 pieds et tournez à gauche au cap 250. Je descends 3000 pieds, je tourne à gauche au euh, cap euh, 250. Right, Passing through 190, right? Items are ready at Q and H one sorry zero nine nine seven. As for me, see that sign can now Box come on to so coming into a descent area. Yeah, so we're definitely uh, only on flying to Biarritz now. There are a few more aircraft coming in to approach as well. Uh, Border control, good evening, KLM uh, 170. Okay, that's fine. KLM 1706, good evening, identify, maintain flight level 360 and proceed direct to Bokno. Maintain flight level 360 and uh, proceed direct to uh, Waypoint Bokno, uh, Bravo Oscar, Kilo, November Oscar, KLM, uh, 1706. November, Down to white zero for Ryanair 25, sorry, 24, Mike November. Right, down to 8,000. And Borgo Center FedEx 69 Heavy. Dragon, not quite so much anymore. And uh, yeah, it needs to be at 8,000 at Magic. So before then, we need to get below 250, set up the landing lights, as well as the first stages of flaps. FedEx 6 Niner, Bordeaux is Mirignac. 
is the same airport. Expect uh Specs calculating in his head. <laughs> now I think this is the uh the engine loss right there, so well, actually, he probably wants a response as quick as possible, so he can actually manage his, uh... No, FedEx, okay, no, he's fine. Not running him out, actually, done landed already. Germany, uh, Niner Kilo arrival for runway... Say again, the runway? Runway 2-3. Runway 2-3 for, uh, FedEx and Turner 10. Ryanair 125, tourné à droite au cap 280, autorisé ILS piste 23, rappel établi. Je tourne à droite 280, je suis autorisé ILS 23. Yeah, who doesn't have a bit of uh, French communication going on down there? Nah, it's alright. <clears throat> alright, so passing through 12,000 shortly, 120. There's a bit of cloud cover up here, but nothing Austrian major. Defend 5,000 feet. QNH 1000. Yeah, that wasn't for me then. But 1000, QNH for the other aircraft. Would probably be something similar. 1000. Austrian 472. Austrian 472, you're probably going to Bordeaux. Uh, if I actually look at the Project's Fly map for any other the Aris approaches, a few aircraft going to Toulouse, a few into Bordeaux, one aircraft on the ground, Fox Shot Kilo, X-Ray Tango. I'm quite sure what you're playing at right now, but. Uh, on the map right here. Ryanair 24 Mike November, you are at that version for ILS runway 27. Turn left at 180, descend 4000 feet, QNH 1000. Uh, left 180 and down to 4000, QNH 1000 for Ryanair 24 Mike November. Thousand and it's going to one zero zero zero, so I'll set that on standard and just raise that up slightly. <clears throat> right, so below two fifty knots now, so I may continue our descent below ten thousand. Landing lights on. Uh, spoilers all set. Facts may be worth going to the first stage of the flats very shortly. Turn left heading 190, descend 3000 feet. Yeah, first stage of flaps. Heading 190, descend 3000 feet. Runway Barrett is 7,300 feet long, 2,000 feet. Two, two and a quarter kilometers long, that's plenty of distance for us to land. Right-hand side, we'll at least be able to see the city that surrounds the airport, because the airport itself is, um, well, the airport itself is right in the heart of the city, including one city that borders it to the north. Only real thing there, though, is a shopping centre, which I probably won't be going to myself. <coughs> Anyways, that seems to be all right for now. No visible landmarks for me. So continue as is. Keep on the 20 miles there. Landing ETA is now uh, seven minutes for touchdown, so that won't take me too so long. Hi there, seven seven. Contact me immediately. Two sur cent dix-huit, dix-huit, notre chance en atterrissage, monsieur. 
contact euh, BNN pour euh, sur euh, 118 décimal 3, merci pour à bientôt. Down to 7,000, and very shortly we'll probably begin the right hand turn, <clears throat> which gets us onto the uh, approach here onto Biarritz, about 15 miles to my right. That matters for us. We've not yet connected to localizer, so. That I thought a little bit longer for, although it shouldn't be that much of an issue. In most case scenario, I mean, cloud face is at 500. But visibility is certainly clear enough for me to make a normal landing into the airport, so that won't be much of an issue for us. Really, it's just a case of waiting for us to uh, get low enough for the touchdown. Alright, in a couple of moments we'll get Come on, let's make a right turn We've just passed 6,000 So our next waypoint, if I should bring that up Is that Charlie India or is that uh, Bravo Zulu? I'll check that quickly I am Air 24 Mike November, turn right really. in 240, descend 2500 feet, clear ILS runway 27, report established. Turn right to 240 and down to 2500, full report when established, right in there 24 Mike November. Right, so down 2500, continue our descent. Ooh, quick weather change there, not appreciated. The Antwerp 72, contact uh, Planet Tower, 118 decimal 10. There we go, localizer connected. And so once we are on oh that, we can then respond. Uh, One, report established. Awesome support Thank established. Um, <clears throat> right, so VOR, VOR localizer on. Speed is 140 for touchdown, I believe. Double check that. Yes, it is. It's down to 139, though, so actually, if we just get the latest info for that. FedEx 6. Niner, you are for ILS runway Next point, point three. matters, it's Charlie India 7 we get onto that in 4 minutes. Roger, proceed present heading and sun level uh, to uh, 
that down to 3,500. <clears throat> my flaps are at 10 degrees. That's down 15. That's a go. I'm expecting to hear the uh, gear horn sound shortly. If not, although the gear horns are established. So the cloud cover is a little higher than 500 now, though, which is appreciated. Now, visibility seems to be out, it's be a little bit easier. I'm trying to spot the airport. Which is not yet in sight. <clears throat> yeah, co will get a better chance with that one. Being on the right hand seat. Uh, spiders are uh, not currently active, so aircraft will be able to manage its speed about that counteracting. Gear horn sounds. Well, not yet, okay. Yeah, lower the gear. Down to 1,900 just for the sake of keeping the aircraft stable. But yeah, I don't really want to start descending. Let's make this right hand turn. Get some to run. Why is that the airport there? Yep, there you go. Runway's in sight. Right now, 2 for Mark November is established. Ryan Air 2 for Mark November, contact the Rex Tower, 180 miles 7-0. If a good landing, sir. Uh, the Rex Tower? Uh, yeah. Moment 8.7 for Ryan Air 2 for Mark November, thank you very much. Where is this one on that? It's active. Uh, one eight point seven. We'll quickly tune them then. <clears throat> one eight point seven. Hi there, Biarritz Tower. This is Ryanair two four Mark November with you at one thousand eight hundred. Ryanair two four Mark November. Good evening, sir. Runway right, 27 uh, winds 190 degrees, 1 2 knots. Clear to land. Clear to land, right there, 2 4 Mark November. Right, so winds are fairly nice with me today. No complaints with that. Still a little below the glide slope, but the aircraft will uh, descend. Let's get a little closer to the runway. <coughs> Single channel approach is set. Woo. That's 40 flaps, I'm bringing it back up again, sorry. I don't realise our flaps have been set already. It's my fault there. There you go, aircraft starts to uh, pitch down now and we continue our descents. Uh, 
139 that needs to be set to. Nice and stable. See you to our right hand side, so the main coast of Biarris is at the other end of the runway. Yeah, what's the actual name of the town here while well, I'm uh, still? Got seconds left of uh, <clears throat> messing around. Alright, Anglet, right, it's got Bayonne to our right, Saint Pierre, the, the rural but down below us, Anglet just to our right by the runway, and Biarritz, which is on the end. And when it comes to the actual city borders, the City border for Biarritz is maybe like the last 100 feet of the runway at the other end, so uh, yeah, it's not a major, not a major bit of runway that over there. One thousand. One thousand. Must disconnect. Throttle to a uh, standard there as well. So throttle disconnects. Certainly my nicest approach in a little while. Slight crosswind, but nothing severe for us. Okay, there we go. Slightly blows the flight slope now. That's always going to happen. Level off the aircraft slightly, just to bring it back onto the uh, two whites. <coughs> Seven knot crosswinds, nothing to uh, really deal with. Seven, I'll say that. Bit of rudder, keep it centre. Eighty knots. Reverse thrust cut at sixty. Bit of thrust into taxi to the end of the runway. Where we'll then make a exit to our right. <clears throat> Of course, being an uphill runway at this point, so the runway kind of dips down and goes up again. It's a nice one to uh, slide down, actually. I do like that. And yeah, we landed about 20 minutes early, actually, I'd say, so very good of timing as well. Including time on the ground at uh, Stansted. Ryanair 2 for Mike uh, Love Thunder. Taxi to stand the Charlie 2. Taxi Charlie 2, Ryanair 2 for Mike Love Thunder. Right, that's the uh, tower to our right. Very short taxi, it's not really much time to set up the APU. But uh, by the time we do get to self stationary, we'll be able to um, set that up all quite nicely. A little bit more to go actually. Just centre ourselves. And there, that'll do us. Parking brake set. Set the uh, auto brake. See about sign off. Strobe set on though, just to let people on the ground know that we're not quite ready yet. Okay, 
make you stabilizing now. That'll come on very shortly, as it has. If you switch and engine power off. Strobes come off as well, as does the anti-collision lights. To the uh, ground handing, show control, bring up five sets of stairs. Hi, and air to floor, Mike and November. Thank you for flying to Biarri. We hope to see you soon. Absolutely. I'm flying there on Friday, so I'll well give it a go. Right, so, our crew comes together. Doors open, doors are locked. Alright. <clears throat> Back, ground service set chocks and GPU. The chocks in position, and uh, what else needs to be off? Something else needs to be off. I don't know what it is. Uh, could it just be the flight leg? No, ground services no. <clears throat> What's stopping me from opening the doors right now? Leg lights off. Strobe lights are off. 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 Not oh, the APU, is it? Let me try that. So, ground power on, APU lead off, APU off. <clears throat> Why can't the passengers deboard? What's wrong with them? Uh, are they stuck here forever? Do not pay enough um, of the disembark fees? Ah, what? Let's have a look at the uh, yeah, remove Remove chocks, disconnect GPU, that means they're all set. Start, terminate, back to you, back to the doors, all locked. Parking brake set. APU's off, lights are off. <coughs> Engines are off. What's going on on board? Why are all the exits locked? I guess I'll never know. Okay, right, so G hang on, DP disconnects, remove chocks, that's all fine. <clears throat> what do with my door, is it? So that sign's off. Nothing to do with that. Usually it's a lighting thing. Oh, tax lights. Maybe that would help. There we go. Open, open. Passengers who may now leave the aeroplane. And there we go. There we go. Welcome to Biarritz. So if I finish off the uh, smart cars flight of actual Ryan there. Fresh that. And then it ends the... Uh, Project Fly flight as well. Let's go to current flight and complete that. All looks good. Project Fly record that as a touchdown of a. Uh, she called that as a 142. So very close to 150 actually. I'd say is the um, the ideal landing touchdown rate of any aircraft. That's uh yeah that looks good. So if I quickly re reseal. The uh, exits, because we know what the uh, ground handling is like. In the moment, also disconnects from uh, that sim as well. <coughs> and then we'll go for the uh, landing replay as well. Flight config, toggle replay modes. Developer, no. Squawk box, disconnect. And then landing, bring it back a few seconds. <coughs> Where's that? Is that enough? No, a little bit more forward, I'd say. Alright, oh, another runway's there. Okay, that's fine then. So, 37. Right hand side, the main view that we're interested in. 
I think we'll, we'll cover both interiors in one actually. I mean, there's not really much to look at here in Biarritz from this end. It's just a uh, flat and a few rural houses. That's why as well. It's coming in from the uh, other ends that we do get to see a little bit more. And like I say, the actual approach itself coming in, probably the most smooth so far. Weather is on my side, and just overall, they are a lot nicer than uh, a lot of my landings. So coming over the city boundaries now. As well as the main motorway going into the um, centre of the cities. As long as, long as, uh, as well as alongside the runway of the um, airport, so on the other side, I believe. There we go, a river down below. The Arabs being a coastal city, so I think we'll see a lot of uh, waterworks coming in over here. There we go, I've got manual control at this point. Yeah, left hand side, not really anything to look at. A few roads, and that's about it. Left hand side, sorry, right hand side, you've got just about everything. Coming on the outskirts of the airport now. There we go. Entering the airport. Entering the runway. And. Reverse thrust in the air before touching down. Yeah, so I did use reverse thrust in the air. Something that 77 can do at super low altitudes. Basically, just assist with the aircraft from touchdown. Which in this case with a downwards facing runway. So I'm sure when we go to the external view, we'll get a chance to see that in action a little bit more. <clears throat> so yeah, coming in, all looks stable. Take manual control very shortly. That's right about now it's in manual. Yeah, Many of you guys keep on the engine there. We've used the uh, reverse thrust, so I'd say just a tiny bit off the ground there. It's not a major one, but as I say, it just kind of helps to assist in the aircraft. Pushing down the ground, and it's like select runway, it'll be kind of floating in a little bit. Have it. Nice simple touchdown here at Biarritz. So, uh, yeah, I think now really is a good time to bring this premiere to an end. So, like I say, I'm currently in um, France right now. Tonight I moved to Bilbao in Spain. And if you want to get updates on what I do in Biarritz, then do check out my second channel, Europe Overload. That is clicking on the I in the top right corner to watch that. And um, yeah, do keep an eye out with what I'm doing on that channel. Likewise, soon a few more things to come as well for example learning to fly in the real world next sunday i'll start my first proper pilot's license lessons so that will get itself sorted out in and just overall should be a should be a lot of fun that and likewise my return flight to london that is on sunday sunday evening don't quite know the exact time right now though again the premiere will be up for that one very shortly so thank you guys very much for watching do leave a like if you did enjoy it. do subscribe I'm sure I'll see you next time. Goodbye.